so this flawless opening ceremony continues in the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum to the delight of members of the American team and all the other athletes of 140 nations. The arrival of the torch, very close now, and who will light the flame, we don't know. I'll tell you the Lynn truth, we tried to by find the rays out. Of the sun on the steps of the Temple Hetra, the Olympic torch brings flame from Greece. Los Angeles is proud to accept again this ancient and sacred symbol. It arrived here about noon, has been kept in a holding area. It traveled 31 miles just today since they started again this morning. A million people viewed it yesterday and last evening in the streets of Los Angeles. It was kept in a van overnight at 71st and Crenshaw. Traveled through Inglewood and Watts before arriving at the Coliseum at 11.47 a.m. The identity of the final runner not known. Now, there could be two. There could be one person carrying it into the stadium, taking a lap around, and then handing off again. So we'll just have to watch it as it happens and find out. Is that... I'm not sure. I'm not going to say that we're sure. It is... Looks like it looks like Gina Hemphill, the granddaughter of Jesse Owens. Now she was originally supposed to be one of the people carrying the flag. And she did not. It is Gina Hemphill, granddaughter of the great Jesse Owens, hero of the 1936 Olympics in Berlin. But will she light the, the flame? We're not sure yet. She could hand off again. to exceed this one. She first carried the torch in New York. She was one of the first torch bearers. And it arrived in the United States. Relay that has encompassed more than 9,000 miles altogether, viewed by more than 10 million Americans. Now, will she go straight up or go around again? She's near where you would go up the stairway. Nope. Looks like she's going to go around again. So there could be another runner. The cheers from each section, the standing ovation. Still has more than 200 meters to go to the start finish line. The athlete's almost blocking the way, urging her on. She has got a way to run. She just slowed it down there for a moment, but only because of the, the bucket by the American team. Enthusiastically greeting the torch. The torch relay originated only in 1936 in the Berlin Games, although a flame burned at the ancient games in Greece. 1932, of course, then there was no torch relay. The flame was simply ignited. It was touched off at the top of the stadium by a switch. This time, a very interesting procedure has been arranged, which you'll see as, as it unfolds. Cheer is still growing for Gina Hemphill. We see no one else in evidence. Wait, wait. There is another man, a man waiting for the relay. One of the great one Olympic of champions of all time, the decathlon champion in 1960 Rayford in Rome in his great battle with C.K. Young, Rafer Johnson. And he will light the Olympic flame. A young man who spent a year of his youth living in a railroad boxcar with his family grew to be the friend of presidents after winning the Olympic decathlon. At the, the Rome Games, he was the first black American to carry the flag in the opening ceremony. Now the flame. He's a great friend, of course, of Robert Kennedy. He was with him when the terrible thing happened. He'll climb 99 steps now. But the last 25 steps you see rising before you. It's a hydraulic system. Lifting those stairs to a point where he'll be able to continue on up. You can count the steps if you want.
one as Rafer Johnson mounts them. There he goes. Came into place just in time. Now he will not go completely to the flame. That's impossible. He can't get up there. But the way the flame gets to the top is fascinating. He'll touch it to what looks like a decorator's rain spout there. Then the flame will go around the Olympic ring and then up to the receptacle. The sun's still shining, but it may be a little hard to see. There it goes. Now it's climbing around the rings. Can you see it there? They say the sun makes it do it. Over there, you can see it. Around the five Olympic rings, then up the spout again. And it will climb to the receptacle at the top for the first time in 52 years. The Olympic flame will burn Los Angeles and it is now a light. And he is now the first black ever to light the Olympic flame. Rafer music called The Olympian, composed by Philip Glass. All of the music composed by Americans. And so, the Olympic flame is a light. Will the athletes but it please is, take it their is not yet over. The oath's coming up next. And please clear the podium. The opening ceremony continues in Los Angeles.